Hello and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer on Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. I'm Pastor Keith Walter from Christ Lutheran Church here in Mililani, Hawaii. A reading from Isaiah 38. A writing of King Hezekiah of Judah after he had been sick and had recovered from his sickness. I said, in the noontide of my days, I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. I said, I shall not see the Lord in the land of the living. I shall look upon mortals no more among the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling is plucked up and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, I have rolled up my life. He cuts me off from the loom. From day to night you bring me to an end. I cry for help until morning. Like a lion he breaks all of my bones. From day to night you bring me to an end. Like a swallow or a crane I clamor. I moan like a dove. My eyes are weary with looking upward. O oh Lord, I am oppressed. Be my security. But what can I say? For he has spoken to me, and he himself has done it. All my sleep is fled because of the bitterness of my soul. O oh Lord, by these things people live, and in all these is the life of my spirit. O oh, restore me to health and make me live. Surely it was for my welfare that I had great bitterness, but you have held back my life from the pit of destruction, for you have cast all my sins behind your back. For Shaol cannot thank you, death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The living, the living, they thank you, as I do this day. Fathers make known to children your faithfulness. The Lord will save me, and we will sing to stringed instruments all the days of our lives at the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Epule kako. Let us pray. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, send your Holy Spirit upon your servants who are troubled in body, mind, or spirit. We especially remember the peoples of Haiti and Afghanistan, the people suffering from the ravages of Hurricane Ida. We remember the people of Hawaii and all those who are suffering from afflictions of the coronavirus. Drive away all sickness of body and spirit. Make whole that which is broken. Deliver them from the power of evil and preserve them in true faith to share in the power of Christ's resurrection and to serve you with all the saints now and evermore. Amen. And now may the God of all consolation bless you in every way, grant you hope all the days of your life, restore your help, you to health, and grant you salvation. Fill your heart with peace and lead you to eternal life. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>